Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, Dale here. How's it going? Uh, in this video today, I have to replace the battery in this Lenovo IdeaPad 310 model. Uh, it's got a bad battery, so I've already taken out all the screws on the bottom. I removed the hard drive cover in the hard drive. That's pretty simple. Just one screw and this pops right out. So I have to get the CD-ROM drive out of here. Let's do that. Just use a little paper clip to eject it. You just gotta get this screw out here for the optical drive to come out. And I'm gonna open up this little cover. There's a screw here, and there's a screw here, and there's a screw here underneath the little warranty tape there. You'll have to take out. We have to get it right down to the motherboard. I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think the battery, this is the new battery I'm going to put in. I think the battery is partially underneath the motherboard. Well, that's interesting. The antenna wires for the Wi-Fi are disconnected here. I don't know if you can see that, but I just noticed that. Yeah, she must not use the Wi-Fi. <laughs> but we'll take care of that. So, now on these, there's a seam right along the very front edge here. That little seam right here along the front. I'm going to get a very thin little tool in there to get that started always be careful of your screen Yeah, the battery is underneath the motherboard. Loads of fun. There. So, down here we're going to disconnect this little guy right here. I got that started. This little ribbon cable right here, we have to flip the little arm up, release that cable. No real easy way to do this, you just got to be really careful. And right next to it, right here, this little guy right here, we have to flip that one up. That's for your keyboard and touchpad. Then you can remove the palm rest and keyboard. As you can see, the battery is, right here is part of the battery. The rest of it slides up underneath the motherboard here. So we're going to have to release the motherboard just to get that battery in there. Um, a lot of stuff we got to disconnect here. I'm just going to go down the, going to remove this, this cable, this cable, unplug the battery. CMOS battery, speaker, uh, and a couple of screws for the motherboard. Lift that out of there. So I'm plugging the motherboard. We're going to unplug that battery. <clears throat> nope, we don't need the CMOS. My bad. Leave that right where it's at.
And you see I've removed, I've disconnected these little ribbon cables from their holders on the motherboard. Just be very careful when you do that. We got a, we got a little screw, we got a screw here for the motherboard. Uh, back here in the corner, I believe we have here, right where the um, DC jack is, we have a screw as well. Surprising how few screws they have in these. So we had two little screws back here in the corner on either side of the where the power adapter plugs in right there to the motherboard. Oh, got one more right here. Right by the HDMI port. And now we got the get the cooling pan here connected on the other side. Here, got that routed in there. I'm gonna unplug that. Plug it right here, right where the keyboard plugs in. There's a connector for your CPU fan. So if you're careful, like I'm gonna be, you don't have to disconnect your screen cable from the corner of the motherboard over here. a couple of screws here for the battery <clears throat> old battery new battery So there was just two screws for the battery. One here, one down at the end down here. So now we're gonna set our motherboard back in place carefully. Four screws back in. And of course, I always be careful touching this stuff. My benches are all anti static, they get sprayed at least once a day. Get these screws back in there. Sorry for the interruption. around the board here and reconnect these connectors our speaker We've got our hard drive SATA port here and reconnect this this and this then our CPU fan on the other side
And this one goes over to our little I.O. board for the USB ports. This one's for our optical drive. Just like that. Can reconnect the uh, CPU fan. take care of those wireless antennas there that are disconnected which boggles my mind all right now I'm gonna hook the battery up last connects right there pretty straightforward Grab our palm rest. Now we got to make sure that your keyboard and your touchpad wires end up underneath the motherboard there. So what I'm going to do is set that down like that. <clears throat> got my trusty little tool here. Carefully feed that through before I snap the palm rest back on. Now we got them here so we can reconnect them. Let's snap this back together. drive back in get a screw in that right away we got that takes that little screw <clears throat> back in the bay over here cover back on well that's how you do a battery replacement on a Lenovo idea pad 310 older model you put it under the motherboard and I'm going to go ahead and I have to reconnect these wireless antenna wire. And you can see that, but the darn things are just disconnected from the wireless card. I don't know who did that. And I'm going to reattach our keyboard here and our touchpad, and then we'll be all set with a new battery. Plug it in, let it charge for two or three hours, should be good to go. Don't forget to uh, click on subscribe, guys, and watch my other videos. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.